Hi there, my name is Liz and I'm Wattify's Customer Engagement Coordinator. Today I'll be walking you through our newest retention tool, Wattify Retain, which is the fitness industry's first machine learning tool that identifies at-risk clients and helps you take action before it's too late. Wattify has over 10 years of historical data across thousands of businesses, which is used in Retain's algorithm to predict which of your clients are likely to cancel their membership. We'll surface that information to you so you can prevent churn and increase your revenue. Let's walk through the current capabilities of Wattify Retain together. Now hopping into Wattify Core, you can see I'm in the People Retain tab, which is how you'll access it. Now the first thing you're probably wondering is who am I looking at and why am I looking at them? So this is going to show the bottom 5% of your clients. So basically the clients that are least likely to attend a class in the next 90 days. So if you're a bigger business, you'll probably have a longer list of clients in retain. And if you're a smaller business, it'll be smaller. Like I mentioned, it'll be the bottom 5%. So basically the least likely to attend class and the most likely to cancel their membership. So this is going to be calculated by using the millions of data points that Wattify has been collecting across thousands of businesses over the last 10 years. The data that we use for retains algorithm is going to be continuously updated and we're actually always optimizing which data we're using to continuously improve the output and provide you with the most accurate list of clients that we think need to be retained by you. Another thing you're probably wondering is how this number in the top right is calculated. So how much you could save per year is going to be the sum of this column here. So the average yearly revenue that your clients in Retain will bring you. We also have the number of days since they last attended and the number of times that they've attended in the last 90 days. So now that you have the information of who is in Modify Retain, what are the next steps? So there are a few things that you can do immediately. In this column here, it'll have your client's phone number. So depending on the device you're on when you click this it will take you to your device's phone system so i'm on a laptop right now it might pull up skype or facetime or if you're accessing this on your phone it might pull up your phone dialer your facetime it kind of depends on your device's system now this next column which is really cool is the email option so when you click this mail icon you can see it pulls up pre-populated text that we've come up with so the subject line will be checking in from it'll have your gym here and then this text here basically asks them how they've been and if there's anything that we could do to have them come back into the business. Now this text is editable, so you can bold things, underline them, insert pictures, hyperlinks, videos. So this sort of brings us into the contact portion of Retain. So you can see I'm emailing my client Adrian right now through Retain, and once I press send, you'll see that Adrian is no longer in the not contacted tab because I just contacted him. Instead, Adrian is now populated in this recently contacted tab along with my other client Addison that I emailed earlier today as well. Now. It's a good thing to note that this email option is the only thing that will automatically mark a client and retain as contacted. Let's say I decide to have a phone call with Cecilia and kind of ask her what's going on that way instead of just emailing. I'd be able to log that phone call by pressing the log contact button. And you can see I have a few options here. So date contacted, let's say it was today. Contact method, I had a call. Add in a few notes about it, press save. And then you can see that Cecilia is now in the recently contacted tab as well. This is going to show clients that I either emailed from here or logged a contact in the past two weeks. I contacted all of these clients today. So in two weeks, they're actually going to show up in the not recently contacted tab. Now, on the other hand, let's say that my client Liana has actually been on vacation for the past three months. She's out of the country. So I know why she hasn't been to class and I don't think that she needs retained. You can actually snooze clients from showing up in retain. So you do do that by going to the right here, pressing snooze, and you have a few options. So let's say that I know that Leanna is coming back next week. So maybe I want her to come back into retain in a week just to make sure that I check in with her. Or on the other hand, I could actually snooze her forever if I know she's a loyal client, she's coming back, she's just on vacation. And in that case, Leanna won't show up in retain again. So I wanna check in with her in the next week. So I'm just gonna snooze her for seven days. And you can see she's not in the not contacted tab anymore, but now she'll be in the snooze tab. So the last part of Retain is you can actually deactivate clients if you know that they're actually not even a client anymore, they're not paying memberships. My client Penelope here hasn't been to class in 553 days, she doesn't even have a membership anymore. You can just deactivate them right from this tab. So as you can see, Wattify Retain has amazing capabilities to not only predict client churn, but also helps assist in your retention strategy. 
Overall, I hope you learned some helpful tips for this awesome new feature, and I'm excited for you to start using Retain. Our team also put together a few resources in terms of product tips and overall retention resources that I've dropped for you in the bio below if you want to take a look. If you have any further questions, you can email support at Other than that, thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.